Hey guys, this is going to be a review of the Shenshi 5x5. So this came in a, a Shenshi box, basically, um, pretty standard. Um, yeah. So it's the standard Shenshi stickers. They're not great, but they're okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, rotation of this puzzle, the outer layers are a bit bumpy. I wouldn't say they're as bumpy as a, a, a V cube, but they're pretty, they're bumpy. Um, not like the V1 of the 4x4. Um, yeah. And the inner layers, oh man, they're so creamy and, oh. I love the turns on this cube. It, it feels such a, it's a great feeling cube, I'd say. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, stickers, they're okay. Um, size comparison to a V cube. Uh, it's a bit smaller, but I can definitely feel it when I'm solving it. It's it has that smaller feel, and um, four by fours are bigger than it. Yeah, it's kind of sad, but um, yeah. So the outer layer, it turns. I already said they're a little bit bumpy, but they're very fast. They're faster than the, both of, or all three of the 4x4s, I'd say. Um, but I don't have the V2. And most people just say the V2 is just the same thing as the V1. But, uh, man, it's fast. Um, the inner layers are fast, too. And, yeah. You know, so this cube is really cheap. It's $10.90. And, um, all the Shen shoes are really cheap. Uh, I've seen that the 2x2s go for, like, 3 to $5.00. The 3x3s are like 7-ish, the 4x4s are about 10, the 5x5s are about 10, and the 6x6s are about 20, you know. And yeah, they just they just uh, released them today, I think. Um, but I'm going to wait until they come to the American stores, same with the Type-C 2x2. But that's a little bit off topic. Um, yeah, so it feels great. Um, but the only problem with it, I'd say, is it's um, too fast for a 5x5. Um, I can't really control the cube while I'm doing, um, like, moves and stuff, so when I'm doing centers, um, I can't really, like, well, that was kind of a bad example, but, like, um, the, the V cube is a little bit slower, so I can, like, really go really fast on this cube, but on the Shenshu, I really have to, like, pace myself and go a little bit slower because I have to, I'm not quite up to its speed. And that's the only thing I don't really like about this cube. Um, so here I'm just going to show the pieces. Um, the pieces are easier to take out than the Shenshu 4x4 version 3, but they're still hard. Um, I'm going to get back and take the pieces out. So Okay, so I got the piece out. It resembles a lot of the Shenshu 4x4 version 3 characteristics where they have this little add-on part. Um, but the centers don't have this prong sticking out, um, uh, which wouldn't do very much good on the 5x5, I'd say. So, just taking pieces out. Yeah, and this, they have a lot of hollow, hollow pieces, because Shenshu's are very hollow. They just have this cap on this side, and this part looks a lot like a V-cube, I would say. On most V-cubes, it has this flat piece up here, then it's a flat part. But it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit, uh, rounded down right there, and it, there's this little lip right there. Um, yeah. So I'm just taking out more pieces. The corners has this, um, like, indent right there, and the stock is kind of weird. Um, and it, ha it like, thins out during the bottom here. So that may weaken it a little bit, I'd say. Um, there's friction reductors on um, on here, and um, I don't know if that really does anything, but whatever, it makes it turn really good. I'm gonna keep on taking this cube apart a little bit more. And that's probably as much as I'm gonna take apart. So here's the uh, center edges, and they look like that. A little bit like a V cube with these wings like that. 
hollow, very hollow. This cube is very hollow. Um, here's the edge, the center edge, hollow here. There's a cap here. Um, friction reducer, friction reducer thing there. There's a lip right there, same as the V cube. Um, yeah, it's very rounded there. Here's the wings. So the core is a red core. Not like Shenshu doesn't really do red cores. I don't think so. I, I, the three by three may have a red core. I'm not sure. Um, the center pieces have these like lines for friction reduction there, and um, yeah, the center pieces aren't too bad to take off. Uh, some of them have this little like yeah right there. It has this little thing, this little indent, and you just pop it right out. Yeah, like that. It's not too bad. Um, yeah. So I'm going to assemble this cube and then come back to you guys again. Okay, so I assembled it again. And um, it's not that hard to assemb assemble. Um, the Shenshu 4x4 version 3 is the hardest out of the Shenshu's, definitely. And, yeah. So, uh, for solving this cube, um, I'd say I get a little bit worse times. Um, only because... I can't really turn as fast on centers, and yeah. But edge recognition is a lot better because what Shenshu does on most of their big cubes is makes the outer layer bigger than the inner layers. Um, see that it has very like high on, high on profile on the outer edges, and that's it's a very good thing because you have a lot more to look at on the edges, and they do that on the four x four too. It has the high ons look and they they're doing that they did it on on the 6x6 six six too because they had to do that because the corners wouldn't fit um yeah so if you don't have a v cube and v cube i still think is the best 5x5 five five out there it's a little bit slower than the shenshu but it's a perfect speed for me Yeah, mine's modified and it's really good. Um, but yeah, if you don't have any of the 5x5 and you don't have the finances for a V cube, this is probably the best cube for you. Um, yeah. Oh, and I forgot about corner cutting. Oh, wow. How could I forget? Um, the corner cutting for the inner layers. About, about half of a piece, the outer layers. Not that much. And reverse corner cutting is a little bit, but it's a 5x5, five five, so it's not going to do, like, crazy amount of in this slice. It's like that, and it's pretty good, I'd say. And, and, yeah, it's about half, or like a quarter of a piece reverse corner cutting the other way. Yeah, so, um, it's a good cube, uh, uh, but not as good as my V-Cube. End of story. Bye.